Well, I, uh, while we wait for everyone to gather, I'll just show you a little close up of the Medicine Buddha altar. So um, you don't have to do the elaborate altar, you can just visualize it. But if you're wanting to do the whole thing, um, <clears throat> it looks like this. So you have some representation of Medicine Buddha. This card is really handy. Then you have a set of offerings for each of the seven, or you can do eight is okay too. So you have water for washing, water for drinking, flowers, incense, light, perfume, food, and then music is represented by the bell and our chanting. And then you can add flowers and fruit and things to kind of fill the space. And it's good to have a stupa and a text if you can. But again, all of this you can just visualize and that's totally fine. There's this very handy card that you can get that has all the main deities, that has a stupa, that has a guru and kind of the powerful mantras. And this is a very handy thing to have, especially when you're traveling um, so that you have um, your images all sorted <laughs> and um, you can do your altar quite quickly. So that's the home altar version and um, one set is fine, visualized is fine, but just in case you're curious what's going on behind me, that's what was up back there. There's just the picture of what's behind me, okay. There you go, so you can see the seven sets. You can see the stupa and the text. You can see the main image and then some extra guru images. And then it's just considered auspicious to fill the rest of the table with other offerings so there's not too much empty space. So hence I've added more candles and more fruit and things like that. So Medicine Buddha Puja, just um, to clarify, a puja or a chupa is a Sanskrit term meaning offering or homage. And it differs from a deity practice that is in essence um, an offering to a deity or guru. So puja is like offering and praise. Sadhana is more about self-generation, mantra, those sorts of things. So pujas are more often done in a group, although you can do them by yourself. For the Medicine Buddha puja, this is the main visualization. It takes a while. You can just think there is a stack of Medicine Buddhas above my crown one in nature with all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, or just there is healing energy above me with me. Um, but as you get more and more familiar with the practice, you can think directly above my crown, blue, then red, then coral, then pink, then gold, then yellow, then gold, then Shakyamuni Buddha. So tomorrow we'll go through each of the medicine Buddhas and kind of like what medicine Buddha is about. But sometimes it's nice to just jump into the practice, do it, and um, we can flesh out any questions tomorrow. Um, for those of you that have the Medicine Buddha Empowerment, you can use your bell and dorje if you like, bell, dorje. Um, keep yourself on mute so it doesn't come through. I won't use my implements today just because the sound through the Zoom is quite painful, but the where to use them will show up. If you don't have the empowerment, don't use the implements. Okay, so here we go. I'll so we'll start with refuge in Bodhicitta. And I guess um, one thing about pujas is that if you can say it aloud, there's more benefit and more connection. If it feels uncomfortable or awkward to say it aloud, don't worry about it. Nature incorporating the entire body, speech, mind, quality, and activity of all the Tathagatas of the three times and 10 directions, source of 84,000 collections of dharmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. I seek refuge in the completely enlightened Lord Buddhas. I seek refuge in the holy dharma. I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss. The Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. I seek refuge in the glorious holy protectors, Dharma protector guardians, endowed with the wisdom eye. 
nature incorporating the entire body, speech, mind, qualities, and activity of all the Tathagatas of the three times and ten directions, source of 84,000 collections of dharmas, Lord of all Aryas Sangha. I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. I seek refuge in the completely enlightened Lord Buddhas. I seek refuge in the holy Dharma. I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. I seek refuge in the glorious holy protectors, Dharma protector guardians endowed with the wisdom eye. Nature incorporating the entire body, speech, mind, qualities, and activity of all the Tathagatas of the three times and ten directions, source of 84,000 collections of dharmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. I seek refuge in the completely enlightened Lord Buddhas. I seek refuge in the holy dharma. I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. I seek refuge in the glorious holy protectors, Dharma protector guardians endowed with the wisdom eye. Sangha chodon sogi chodon loi jan chu padu dani kapsu chi daki jin sogi pe sonam ki rola penche sangha drupa sho sangha chodon sogi chodon loi jan chu padu dani kapsu chi daki jin sogi pe sonam ki rola penche sangha drupa sho sangha chodon sogi all sentient beings who although self and all appearances are dharmadhatu by nature have not realized it thus i shall endow with happiness and the causes of happiness I shall separate from suffering and the causes of suffering. I shall make inseparable from happiness without suffering. And I shall set in equanimity the cause of well being, free from attachment, aversion, and partiality. And repeat that prayer twice more to yourself. And if you like, you can meditate on Tonglen. Continuing on. For the welfare of all mother sentient beings, I need to attain complete Buddhahood. Therefore, I'm going to engage in the stages of the path, such as prostrating, making offerings and heartfelt requests, entreating the holy mind to grant blessings. To the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. Through the power of the supreme truth of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas blessings, the might of the two collections, and the purity of the Dhammadhatu, may this realm's beings and environment be enriched like Sukhavati, with all the desirable perfections of both samsara and nirvana. Jewel ground adorned with trees and with palms, whose bottoms are covered with gold, silver, and pearl dust, flowers strewn and sandalwood fragrance rising, human and divine enjoyments, Samatabhadra's offerings everywhere. There at the center of a charming jewel palace on lion, lotuses and lion thrones, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas abide. May everywhere be filled with oceans of clouds of offerings which they enjoy, born through the force of mantra, samadhi and aspiration. So think of all of the offerings set out here, any offerings in your own home, any offerings you can imagine, and then think that they're all multiplied numberless times as we say the offering cloud mantra. Om Tamo Bhagavate Vajasava Pramadana Tadagataya Hate Samyaksam Puraya 
Tayata hom vajra vajra maha vajra maha tira vajra maha vira vajra maha bodhi tira vajra maha bodhi mandoka samgamana vajra sawakama varana vishadana vajra soha. Om namo bhagavate vajra sawa pramadana tatagata ya ha hati samik sam bodhaya. Tayata hom vajra vajra maha vajra maha tira vajra maha vira vajra maha bodhi tira vajra maha bodhi mandoka samkramana sawa kama varana vishadana vajra soha. Om namo bhagavate vajra sawa pramadana tatagata ya ha hati samik sam bodhaya. Tayata hom vajra vajra ma vajra ma tira vajra ma vira vajra ma bodhi tira vajra ma bodhi mandoka samkramana vajra sawakama varana vishadana vajra soha. By the power of truth of the three rare sublime ones, the blessings of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the great wealth of the completed two collections and the sphere of phenomena being pure and inconceivable. May these piles of clouds of offerings arising through transformation by the Bodhisattvas Arya, Samadabhadra, Manjushri, and so forth, unimaginable and inexhaustible equaling the sky, arise and in the eyes of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the ten directions be received. Compassionate protectors and degenerate times, seven Sugatas, Buddhist Shakyamuni, Holy Dharma, Bodhisattvas, and guardians, Invited as the support and protect a refuge to protect others and myself. May you come here, gather, and grant your blessings. Root Guru, whose kindness is without equal, King of the Shakyas, Manjushri, Shandarakshita, and so on, holding in their hands this profound sutra, to the direct and lineage gurus I prostrate. To the compassionate ones who liberate destitute beings, seven Sugatas, Buddha Shakyamuni, and Holy Dharma, Manjushri, Kabdrol, Vajrapani, Brahma, and Ishvara, and the Maharajas and Yakshas I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Great Bhagawan Assembly, pray listen. Seven Sugatas, just as you promised, your previous prayers will be fulfilled. During the final period of Shakyamuni's teachings, pray show me in actuality it is true. To the Bhagawan Tadagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tadagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tadagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tadagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color with mudra of granting refuge, who accomplished eight prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field unconquered by others, to renown glorious king of excellent signs I prostrate. In flowers of the major marks flourishing and pure, Anthers of minor signs, such as a beautiful body. One who sees, hears, or thinks of you is glorified. To renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. Take a moment to visualize all the offerings and everything you can imagine. purest water, most beautiful flowers, the most pleasant scents, beautiful light, 
perfumes and feasts, the best music. Visualize an offer and think that it generates special uncontaminated bliss in the holy minds of the Guru Buddhas. And continuing, I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering, may all sentient beings such as ourselves be freed from epidemics, execution, and criminals and spirits, have faculties fully complete, have the continuum of suffering and negativities cut, not fall to lower realms and experience the happiness of humans and gods. With hunger, thirst, and poverty pacified, may there be wealth. Without torments of bodies such as bindings and beatings, without harm of tigers, lions, and snakes, with conflict pacified. Endowed with loving minds and relieved from fear of flood as well, may we pass to fearless bliss. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus and that Buddha field qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors, such as renowned glorious king of excellent signs, and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Yellow in color with mudra of granting the supreme, who accomplished eight prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field endowed with jewels, I prostrate to king of melodious sound, well adorned with jeweled moon and lotus, wisdom expanded and mastery of all knowable objects, endowed with the mind as deep as the ocean, I prostrate at the feet of king of melodious sound. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities. Pausing here to meditate on confession, laying the mind bare, honest and transparent to the compassionate gaze of Guru Medicine Buddha. Regret, not guilt. Body, speech, and mind, all negativities laid bare. Continuing. Rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. 
through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, frustrating, and offering for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may the distracted flourish in the Dharma, have wealth and goods of humans and gods without traumatic conception, be always born human, never be separated from bodhicitta, increase in virtuous Dharma, purify obscurations and attain the happiness of humans and gods. May we be freed from being separated from the spiritual guide, from dark ages, spirit harm, death and enemies, and from the dangers of isolated places. May we have enthusiasm for making offerings and performing ritual services. May lesser beings have samadhi, mindfulness, strength, the dharani of non-forgetfulness and attain supreme wisdom. May tormenting fires be cooled. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus and that Buddha field quality is complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as king of melodious sound and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tadagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tadagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tadagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color like the river Zambu with Dharma teaching mudra, having accomplished four prayers, Majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field, incense filled, I prostrate to stainless excellent gold. Paramount among golds like the gold of the river Zambu, blazing with more radiance than a thousand suns. Body like a stainless golden stupa, I prostrate to stainless excellent gold. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. And so pausing to meditate on rejoicing in your own positive actions, those of the people in your life. All the small and large acts of kindness, of patience, of generosity. and rejoicing in other ordinary sentient beings who are doing positive work, various charities, all different kinds of volunteers, those who work at Dharma centers, those who have ethical professions, right livelihood, those who seek to make their families more harmonious, loving and kind, who are good neighbors, responsible citizens, and particularly anyone on an ethical spiritual path, in some way altruistic working for the greater good, and expanding out all the way to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, rejoicing in their inconceivable virtue. How wonderful it is.
Continuing on. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating and offering for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may the short-lived gain longevity, the poor full wealth. May combatants come to have loving minds. May we not without training and fall to the lower realms, but be bound by our vows and never without bodhicitta. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus and that Buddha field qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as stainless excellent gold and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient things right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Light red in color with mudra of meditative equipoise, who accomplished four prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field without sorrow. I prostrate to supreme glory free from sorrow. Passed beyond sorrow, attained to supreme bliss, pacifier of sentient beings, three poisons and suffering, protector of beings of the six realms, to the glorified ones, supreme glory free from sorrow, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech. And pausing here and imagining all of the medicine Buddhas are one in nature with all Buddhas, all gurus. And in your mind, request them to please stay request them to please continuously teach. In requesting them to stay, we can visualize offering them all lion thrones with cross double door jays on each face supported by snow lions. And they happily take their seats and we think we've created the cause to meet the teacher, for the teacher to show the aspect of long life from now until samsara ends. And in beseeching, requesting them to teach, we can think that we offer them giant dharma wheels, dharma chakras, golden and radiant, that they happily accept and that we create the cause to hear the teachings, to integrate the teachings, to give the teachings, all in as pure a way as possible, free from the eight worldly concerns. Enlightened beings, please stay. Enlightened beings, please teach. Think that they happily accept and continue on. And dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating and offering, for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may sorrow and the like always be pacified and life be long and happy. May the conqueror's light increase bliss and joy in the hells. May we have brightness, beauty and wealth unharmed by spirits. May we have love for each other and may there be no disease. And when we pass away from this life, 
May we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete. Become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors, such as supreme glory, free from sorrow, and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Pink in color with mudra of teaching the Dharma, who accomplished four prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field, victory banner of Dharma, I prostrate to melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. Great sound of Dharma conquering adversaries, endowed with speech as deep as the ocean, pacifier of beings suffering without exception, I prostrate to melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So think that the virtue you've created through the seven limbs and the virtue you've created through this practice so far all goes towards your complete enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. Continuing on. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering, for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may we always have perfect view and faith, hear the sound of Dharma, and be enriched with bodhicitta. For the sake of resources, may we give up negativities, may wealth increase. May we abide in love, have long lives, and be content. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus and that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors, such as melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripe it upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Coral colored with mudra granting the supreme, who accomplished four prayers. Majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field, ocean of jewels, I prostrate to king of clear knowing. Mind of profound Dharma wisdom, difficult to fathom, sporting in the pure sphere of truth. One who sees all knowable objects directly, I prostrate to king of clear knowing. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, Rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, 
for expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering. For all sentient beings such as ourselves, may the distracted be free of malice and rich in goods. May those on lesser paths, may those on evil paths to lower realms attain the 10 virtues. May those controlled by others gain perfect independence and all have long life, hear the names and be virtuous. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus and that would have filled qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as King of Clear Knowing and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Medicine Guru, King of Lapis Light, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Medicine Guru, King of Lapis Light, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Medicine Guru, King of Lapis Light, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Medicine Guru, King of Lapis Light, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Blue in color with mudra of granting the supreme, who accomplished 12 prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field, lapis light, I prostrate to medicine guru, king of doctors. Bhagawan with equal compassion for all, whose name when merely heard spells the suffering of lower realms, Dispeller of disease and the three poisons, I prostrate to Medicine Buddha Lapis Light. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering, May each and every sentient being, such as ourselves, all become like you, graced with marks and signs. May the light dispelling darkness, the enjoyment of wisdom, and skillful means be inexhaustible. May those attracted to mistaken and lesser paths enter Mahayana paths and all be beautified by their vows. May we be free from pain caused by immorality, be complete in faculty and without disease and have abundant goods. May those disillusioned with the weakest conditions always have powerful faculties, and may we be freed from Mara's noose and perverse viewpoints. May those tormented by kings gain bliss, and those who out of hunger support themselves through negativity be satisfied with food received in accordance with the Dharma. May hardships of heat and cold be pacified and all good wishes be fulfilled. Endowed with morality that pleases the Aryas, may we be liberated. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus and that Buddha field qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as medicine guru, king of doctors, and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color with earth pressing mudra, who through the force of unique great compassion and enthusiasm became the glorious one of this, the fearless world system. I prostrate to the supreme leader, head of the Shakyas, born in the Shakya lineage out of skillful means and compassion, 
unchallenged by others, conqueror of Mara's forces. Body majestic as a golden Mount Meru, I prostrate to the king of the Shakyas. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated. Through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration, I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Pray bless us and all beings who lack a protector to receive here immediately without exception the benefits as taught by the Supreme Teacher in the extensive sutra ritual of Medicine Buddha. Supreme lamp dispelling the darkness of ignorance, foremost of medicines alleviating suffering and disease, to the entire sublime jewel of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Supreme lamp dispelling the darkness of ignorance, foremost of medicines, alleviating suffering and disease. To the entire sublime jewel of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Supreme lamp dispelling the darkness of ignorance, foremost of medicines, alleviating suffering and disease. To the entire sublime jewel of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Homage to the mother of the victorious ones, perfection of wisdom and holy Dharma of the three vehicles, who totally destroys the dark seed of suffering's cause and uproots the pain of suffering completely. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the blessings of the truth of the holy Dharma jewel, May I and all others, henceforth in all our lives, practice the Buddha's teachings in their entirety exactly as the Buddha's intended. The conqueror's heart commitments were invoked by 36,000 sons of Sugatas, including Manjushri, Kabjol, and Bajapani. Thus requested, they proclaim the sutra's benefits. Pray manifest all of them from me here and now, and to the worldly protector Yaksha leaders as well, as he promised to do before previous teachers to stop enemies, harmers, and epidemics, to pacify all conflict and increase physical and mental bliss, increase wealth, power, property, crops, and lifespan, accomplish these desired goals as we wish, and always protect us without break. And so now just take a moment and stabilize your visualization, just simple medicine Buddha, and imagine that from his heart, Streams of nectar flow down through the crown of your head, purifying body, speech, and mind, healing and soothing. And think that this simultaneously happens for all sentient beings as well. And while holding awareness of this visualization, we then add the mantra. Do the long one three times and the short one seven times, and then finish a mala under your breath. Om Namo Bhagavate Bhikkhunze Guru Bhadrulya Prabharadzaya Tathagataya Ahate Samyak Sambhuraya Tayata hum bekanze bekanze ah bekanze bekanze radza samugate soha hum namo bhagavate bekanze guru bajaya prabharadaya tatagataya ah te samyak sambudaya tayata hum bekanze bekanze Ah, beckonze, he beckonze, Radza Samu Gate Soha. Om Namo Bhagavate beckonze, Guru Badruya, Prabha Radzaya, Tata Gataya. Ah, Hate Samyak Sam Buddhaya. Tayata, Om beckonze, beckonze. Ah, beckonze, he beckonze, Radza Samu Gate Soha. 
Ayata hum beckon zay, beckon zay, ma beckon zay, beckon zay, raza samu gate so ha. Ayata hum beckon zay, beckon zay, ma beckon zay, beckon zay, raza samu gate so ha. Ayata hum beckon zay, beckon zay, ma beckon zay, beckon zay, raza samu gate so ha. Ayata hum beckon zay, beckon zay, ma beckon zay, beckon zay, raza samu gate so ha. Ayata hum beckon zay, beckon zay. Ah, back and say, back and say, Raza Samu got a soha. Tie a home, back and say, back and say, Ah, back and say, back and say, Raza Samu got a soha. Tie a home, back and say, back and say, Ah, back and say, back and say, Raza Samu got a soha. And continue the mantra under your breath, together with an idea of light, healing yourself and all sentient beings. Tayata om bekenze bekenze ma bekenze bekenze rata samukate soha. Ayata om bekin zay bekin zay maha bekin zay bekin zay radza samu gati so. Continuing on. Root Guru, whose kindness is without equal, King of the Shakyas, Manjushri, Shandrak, Shida, and so on, holding in their hands this profound sutra to the direct and lineage gurus, I prostrate. To the compassionate ones who liberate destitute beings, the seven Sugatas, Buddha Shakyamuni, and Holy Dharma, to Manjushri, Kavdrol, Vajapani, Brahma, and Ishvara, and the Maharajas and Yakshas I prostrate, I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech, and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Whatever I have done or caused to be done that was unprepared or degenerated or done with my deluded mind, please be patient with all of these. Whatever beings of this degenerate age have done of lesser merit mixed with ignorant delusions that did not fulfill the Arya's wishes, please be patient with these as well. Under the influence of miserliness, lacking in skill, having made bad offerings or faulty arrangements, or protector endowed with great compassion, please be patient with these as well. Whatever was superfluous or left undone, degeneration in parts of the ritual or whatever was forgotten, please be patient with these as well. By remaining here together with this image for the sake of all migrators, May you grant us long life without illness, power, and supreme attainment. Om Sutra Ticha Vajaya Soha. The hosts of Medicine Buddha deities pervading all directions of the round of space with perfection, some raining down multicolored lotuses, some singing songs requesting goodness, some acting to conquer Maras and obstructors, and all bestowing on you supreme good fortune, Know this full well and be very joyful, and I shall voice sweet melody expressing auspiciousness. Supreme teacher of humans and gods, touching my crown to your feet of jewel moonlight, grants the glory of good fortune of Kamunda flowers blossoming. To Munindra, moon of expounders, I prostrate. 
Manjushri and Great Abbot, Shandarakshita, Trisong Ditsen, Atisha Father and Sons, Second Conqueror, Losong Drapa, and so on, through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of the root of the supreme root and lineage gurus. May all negativity and degeneration be ended and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Accomplishing a supreme ocean of prayers invoking truth during the teachings decline for protectorless beings who are untamed by other sunlight conquerors through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of those seven sugatas protectors during degenerate times. May all negativity and degeneration be ended and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Arising well from the broad lotus-like tongue of the Lord of the Able Ones, especially exalted even in the later days of the Shakya's teachings, such that if performed, one gains the essence of immortality's ambrosia. Through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of that king of the vast and profound Sutra Pitaka, may all negativity and degeneration be ended and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of those children of the lineage performing the sutra ritual, by simply reciting the names of the kings of doctors of all realms, ten directions, and through the especially extensive prayers of the teacher Buddha and the Sugatas, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Accomplished through the compassion mantra of the Sugatas, through faith, samadhi, and words of truth, construction of jewels, abode of the three jewels beyond the three realms, through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of that supreme Buddha field equal to Sukhavati. May all negativity and degeneration be ended and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. And so now we dedicate I think that all of the merit you put into this practice, into the teaching session, into the day, may it all go towards our complete enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. In particular, may there be peace in this world. May people think of benefiting each other, of collaborating, of non-harmfulness, of altruism. Just as the brave Manjushri and Samadabhadra too realize things as they are, I too dedicate all these merits in the best way that I may follow their perfect example. I dedicate all these roots of virtue with the dedication praised as the best by the victorious ones thus gone of the three times so I might perform good works. Due to the merits accumulated over the three times by myself and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, which are empty from their own side, may I, who is empty from its own side, achieve the state of enlightenment which is empty from its own side and lead all sentient beings who are empty from their own side to that state as quickly as possible by myself alone. Because of all the merits of the three times created by me and all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas and sentient beings, may there be no wars, famines, disease, quarreling, fighting or unhappy minds. May there be great prosperity and may everything needed be easily obtained. 
May all the human beings in the world be guided by spiritual leaders teaching only Dharma. And may everyone enjoy the happiness of Dharma. Gari rawe koe jing kam dia, pandong de wa malu jung wei ne, chen re zi wan ten zing get so yi, sha pe si te ba du ten gyu chi. Utu ap so chan jing jam kong gao wei. Ten zing yum bao e kung zo do po ze. Chu sum ko e le mon chu dro. A da so do je gon do shop ten shu. Okay. So you can relax your attention. And uh, <clears throat> when you're doing Medicine Buddha Puja in a group um, at the dedication prayers, you can also add any particular dedications for anybody in your community who is sick or is having uh, you know, various obstacles in your life. That's where you can add those. Um, if your community has a lot of Sangha and you want to do particular offerings, particularly if it's a holy day, during the verses of auspiciousness is when someone would get up on behalf of the community and give offerings to the Sangha. So verses of auspiciousness are the time for offerings. Dedications are the time for particular prayers for your community. Um, there's a lot of those, I guess there's a lot of parts about this puja, which some of them are historical references. Some of them are tantric references. Some of them can be found easily. Some of them are harder to find, but there's actually quite a lot of Medicine Buddha resources out there. So um, the three main ones that we use in our organization are these ones by Lama Zopa Rinpoche. Um, Ultimate Healing is very much about thought transformation and Medicine Buddha. The power of mantra is um, got some really beautiful, simple visualizations for each of the main deities that we practice in the lower tantras, including Medicine Buddha. And it includes um, explanations of what each of the main mantras mean, and we'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow. And then teachings from the Medicine Buddha retreat is kind of how you would approach this practice in a retreat setting, or if you were to do it regularly in your daily life, like every single day, there's lots of good advice about how to bring different nuance and layers and different ways to change your, um, I guess, emphasis in the different parts of the practice. So these readings are really excellent, um, but a lot of the main things we'll cover tomorrow about the specific medicine Buddhas, about the mantra and things like that. So um, while it's a little bit fresh, um, your, homework, um, your homework is to have a look at this Medicine Buddha Puja and look if there's parts that you wanna ask about tomorrow. At the top of the next session, we'll just briefly go through the sadhana, but if you have like a page number ready to go, that'll make it really handy or a section that kept coming up that you wanna ask about, please do that. But um, already included will be each of the Medicine Buddhas, what they're about, and the mantra we'll talk about tomorrow. So Medicine Buddha Puja is really, really useful to do for obvious healing things. Um, if there is someone in your life who's really going through like active health struggles, doing this on their behalf is really, really useful. Um, it's my go-to puja for as people are dying. So if you're accompanying someone through their death process, it's a really nice bedside practice to do. After they die, there's any number of practices you could do, but Medicine Buddha puja is really, really handy one to have. Um, if you look at some of the prayers for each of the individual Medicine Buddhas, some of them are just so beautiful and so timely you know, about getting rid of famines and, you know, may combatants come to have loving minds and may tormenting fires be cooled. And, you know, there's really the aspirations that we want for this world, very clearly, very specifically woven throughout all of these. You look at some of the medicine Buddhas like supreme glory, free from sorrow. And then you think of how many people in your life are struggling from anxiety and depression and angst and grief. You know, it's just very timely, very applicable. So the Medicine Buddhas 
are very much for the degenerate age, which is the age that we're in right now. It's more powerful to do these practices now. And, you know, side benefits are also to any animals in your life, or if you still eat some meat, you can blow the Medicine Buddha mantra onto the meat that you eat or onto your pet's food if they eat meat or onto the pets themselves. And the power of that mantra can have a really positive effect on beings that were born in the animal realms or on um, the meat or the bones um, that they still have a subtle karmic connection with. Blowing that mantra onto the meat can also have a beneficial effect on the mind of that being. So there's a lot of ways to use Medicine Buddha practice, Medicine Buddha mantra, Medicine Buddha puja. So we'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow, but just fun facts. And um, thanks very much for all of your time. And uh, please do bring good questions tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Venerable.